bit more local coverage now from Sabin Point Park in East Providence. This afternoon, work began on what is a first for Rhode Island, an artificial reef in the waters of Narragansett Bay. Sky Drone 12 got a look at the construction today, and so did Pete Mangione. He joins us now to tell us about the project. Here at Sabin Point Park, an artificial reef is going into place. Sky Drone 12 in East Providence capturing the moment when the first of many concrete balls were lowered into the water. They're concrete structures, uh, they're like hollowed out domes, and so they're going to provide shelter and uh, some good habitat for the fish in the area. Pat Barrett from the Rhode Island DEM Division of Marine Fishery says they will be lowered eight at a time until 64 of these concrete domes make up an artificial reef. This is not the first time this has happened in Rhode Island, although it was with a different material. The last time an artificial reef was built was the old Jamestown Bridge. Barrett says the concrete material is expected to become a permanent host for marine life like shellfish and algae, making it more attractive to fish. Keeping it close to shore was an important part of the plan so that fishermen can take advantage of the extra activity from the dock. Although the reef is in relatively shallow water, Barrett points out that at high tide, some areas get to around 12 feet. The reason this site is exciting for us is because it has access both from shore and by boat. Uh, a lot of reefs that are built elsewhere are far offshore and not a lot of people can access them. It did take a while to get the ball rolling Thursday afternoon, but there is a reason for that. The size of the barge uh, just needs to get in the right position and so they just want to make sure they have a steady footing when they're, they're lifting these reef balls because each one weighs about 1,300 pounds. We're told that this is the first time that cement reef balls have been deployed in Rhode Island waters. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.